call this type of problem what happens when. And it's a qualitative question where we need to attach a number to it, but you're not given any real specific numbers. So for example, what happens to the pressure of a gas when the volume is tripled and the temperature is halved? These are applications of P1V1 T1 over equals P2V2 over T2. The way we approach it is we pretend that our initial values are all one. Because it doesn't matter what they are, it matters what our new values are relative to that. So I want to know what happens to the pressure. So I'm going to be solving for P. The volume is tripled. So what I'm going to plug in for V2 is 3, because relative to V1, it's 3 times as big. And the temperature is halved. So plugging in for T2, I'm going to plug in 1 half. Now I need to solve for P. So I'll have 1 equals... P times 3 over 0.5, or actually I'm going to leave it in here as a 1 half. So bringing that to the other side, bringing 1 half to the other side, I'm going to have 1 half in the numerator, and then I'm going to divide that by 3, and the new pressure is 1 sixth of the old pressure. So P2 equals 1 sixth P1. Now the ways you can express your answer, that's one choice. You can say that the new pressure is times 1 sixth. You can say the new pressure is divided by 6. <clears throat> um, another choice you could say is it's times 0.167, which is 1 sixth as a decimal. Any of these are acceptable ways of expressing your answer, but you may not put just 1 sixth as your answer, or um, 0.167 is your answer. You need to indicate how P2 relates to P1. A second example, what happens to the pressure if the volume does this? So now, temperature is not mentioned, so we make the assumption that it's constant, and I don't have to worry about it. For P1 and V1, I'm plugging in 1. What happens to the pressure? So I'm solving for P2 again. In the problems you try, you'll be solving for things other than P2. The volume is quadrupled, so my new volume is four times the original one. So solving for P2, we get one-fourth. So ways I can express my answer, I can say times a fourth, I can say divided by four, I could say times 0.25, any one of those would be acceptable ways to express it.